What is up guys, Matt and Jackson here from the Toaster Bros, and today we bring you the $450 gaming slash editing PC. But before we get into that, we want to let you all know that this video is brought to you by Guru Energy, the non-GMO organic energy drink that is probably perfect for you. Check the link in the description down below if you want to learn more about it. Alright guys, so the main focus of this build is a Xeon X5650 PC. Now this CPU is a 6 core 12 threaded CPU, and you might be wondering, this is a weird looking motherboard box. Well, this entire combo with motherboard board and 16 gigs of RAM and the CPU along with a heatsink which we're not using in this video because we'd rather use something else from a company that's sent over uh, all cost about $230 on AliExpress readily available links will be in the description down below now this is an off-brand motherboard and it's gonna be a very interesting build because we haven't tried this kind of hardware before but it's very popular amongst people who do use PC builds and really will do a great job at being an editing slash gaming PC after we overclock it so the graphics card for this build is the EVGA GTX 960 now we got this card from a free PC that was donated to the channel and this card is going to do great for being able to use CUDA acceleration and editing tasks and be able to do some gaming on the side. Now our storage setup is a little bit different. What we have right here is a 120 gigabyte SSD from SanDisk that we got for about $30. This SSD will do great for being a boot drive for a system like this. When you're having an editing PC, gaming PC, whatever kind of PC you have, adding an SSD to it will greatly improve its boot performance and just overall fluidity when using Windows. Now we're also throwing in a 2 terabyte hard drive for a particular reason. This is actually a drive we've used for a while as like a benchmarking drive and we're going to wipe this and use it as a mass storage array and we'll let you all know exactly why we're throwing this in as extra for the person we're giving this to or organization. More on that later. Now for the power supply we went with an EVGA 600 watt power supply which we got for 30 bucks. This thing goes on sale a lot. It's 80 plus white. It's just the normal basic certification. Nothing too crazy. It's pretty budget friendly and since this is a $450 budget PC we thought this would be the perfect power supply for the job. Now with that combo that I showed at the beginning of this video came this CPU cooler, which, you know, looks how do you say it? like a, uh, I have no idea how to pronunciate this, but this is a CPU cooler that says it can support up to Core 2 Duos, i7, some AMD Athlon CPUs. It doesn't look too promising, uh, but we don't need this anyways. Deepcool was nice enough to send over two things for us to use. Their Earl case right here, which is a tempered glass case that has some RGB functionality built in, and it comes in at only 60 bucks, so it's very budget friendly. And also their CPU cooler right here, the Gamax 400, which comes with a blue LED light fan and it looks kind of like a hyper 212 evo in a sense and it's around the same price range so altogether this will form a really nice build and special thanks again to deep cool for sending over the products for this build how about we get right into it shall we
Alright guys, so now that you've seen the PC get put together, it's time to dive into some benchmarks. Now this motherboard, as we mentioned in the beginning of this video, the Huanan ZHI X58 motherboard comes in a combo package on AliExpress for $230 shipped with the X5650 and 16 gigs of RAM along with that one stock cooler that we showed you. But one thing I have to mention that really let me down after testing this system is its overclockability. Now the main reason people go with older Xeons is because you can overclock them from their stock frequencies which normally is around 2.5 2.6 gigahertz to upwards of like 3.5 4 gigahertz to make them really good budget gaming systems now the downside of the motherboard that we got and we weren't aware of and kind of took a risk on is that this motherboard while it does support overclocking does not overclock it much at all I literally could only get this thing to max out at 2.9 gigahertz as opposed to its stock clocks of 2.6 which is far off from being the most optimal solution for a system that needs to be able to play games while you will see in some of the benchmarks that I'll show on screen here with games like Fortnite and PUBG, you can actually play the games relatively easily. You do dip below 60 FPS and the 960 is most certainly bottleneck in this situation. As you can tell, these gaming benchmarks are less than stellar with the dips below 60 FPS every so often. And as you can tell, it's not the most optimal solution and that has to do with us not being able to overclock that X5650 to a higher frequency. And it's literally just bottlenecking the 960. There's not much we can do in this situation. Regardless, this system is going to be used mainly for something else. As we mentioned in the beginning of this video, it's not a gaming PC per se. It can be used as a gaming PC if you replicate the parts but get a different motherboard that can actually overclock. But the main purpose of this is we're donating it to a place called Level 1 Hackerspace, which we did a tour of. And it's a non-profit hacking space where you can do different modding, you get access to a bunch of tools, and their 3D rendering and modeling PC just hit the dust. It doesn't work anymore. And we decided to throw this PC together for them and donate to the space. It's a good way for us to give them older hardware because they like to repurpose stuff and keep it out of landfills and using an X5650 PC which is older Xeon hardware made the most sense. And regardless of these benchmarks this thing does really good in multi-threaded applications and different things that require multi-threaded workloads like 3D rendering or other workloads that they most likely use this PC for. So how we just transition into taking this PC over to them right now because I think I need to meet Jackson and them over there. Yeah, give it a little dust off. So yeah, guys, we are here uh, delivering this PC, <laughs> as you can tell. Right there. Back to the keypad, you know. <laughs> Short on those. I asked Brian to keep them down here, so I'm waiting here back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Stuff's super fast. Yeah. Ready to go. All named, good to go. Yeah, yeah. Name, yeah. Thing's ready. Oh, it's fully God. activated and everything. Holy crap. There you go, guys. <laughs> hey, Kevin. All right, guys, so as you can tell, they really enjoyed this computer. We dropped it off for them, and it was a great upgrade from that very dusty machine that they had <laughs> lying around beforehand. Uh, we're right now outside the space just after dropping it off, and it was a fun experience being able to donate something like that to the space. So we really hope that us building them this PC basically lets us be able to come back and do some future projects like vinyl cutting, laser cutting, some really crazy stuff to bring you guys even better content than we already do. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like on the video and comment down below what you think. Uh, if you have any recommendations for future PC builds, let us know down below. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel and we hope to see you on the next video. Goodbye.